hello everyone so today i'm gonna implement a defense attribute for the character now demonstrate that let me go to these enemies and get hit you will see in the top left corner uh, how my health changes see a light attack it reduced by 10 and you can see i have zero defense here because i'm not wearing any armor and now as you saw the damage was reduced, uh, health was reduced by 10 points uh, for light attacks. Now here, let me wear an armor. Now, after this, you should see some defense here. Pay attention to the top left corner because I don't have any other way to demonstrate that other than the change in reduction of health. Now you see here, defense is 15 and you can see health is reduced uh, not by 10 percent not by 10 points but less amount than that so that's why we get this 46 37 so it's more like 9 so i reduce the def uh, using the defense i reduce the amount of damage uh, my character take using a percentage based on the amount of defense my character has and so this is where I define it here for example this chest contains this uh, plate mail class 2 armor that means um, plate mail oh wait that means this one this armor this armor so when the character wears this armor character we apply this uh, chest armor plate mail class 2 gameplay effect here i have defined this modifier which add 15 points to the defense attribute of the character now this is how we add to defense of the character based on the armors that we wear now this uh, defense can be can be increased not just for armor through any equipment for example here this is helmet for the helmet i can also add defense like five defense for the helmet as here i will show you how to add the defense attribute to the uh, character space attribute and how to add change them through gameplay effects and how to make it uh, how to make it uh, to take into account when the character get damage from the attacks all right as always you will be able to download full projects in my patreon page once you become a member not just this project you can download any project that i have worked on i'll leave the link in description below to the date there are over 2000 videos for each video project files are here and also this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system series so you can watch all other episodes of this project as well i'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description below and let's get back to today's tutorial okay so this just contains uh, this uh, plate mail class one armor let me show that here when I collect it you can see the armor and now I want to have I want to increase the defense of the character when I collect that armor so first thing is here just armor plate mail c1 and we have this when this armor is collected we apply this gameplay effect uh, collect just armor plate mail c1 gameplay effect so here uh, for now I have this modifier that that can add to the health but it I have kept it as zero but here instead of health I want to have a separate attribute called defense and I need to add to defense so when the character has some defense the damage received by the character is reduced so I want to consider it as a percentage that means the maximum defense a character can have 
could be something like 100 percent and but and no maybe we should limit it like 50 percent because we should at least leave some uh, amount of damage even if the defense is full uh, but you can change it as you need so anyway let's see now how to add this defense attribute to the character okay so for that let me open my uh, let me just refresh the visual studio project and then open the project visual studio project right here we have now let me close all the tabs here under clm action rpg you have this base actor attributes and these are the attributes we have right now health and stamina those are the only two attributes health let me add some comments so easier to see stamina just like this i need to add another attribute called defense and let me copy this because they are going to be same but instead of stamina defense and replicate using on rep defense and attribute accesses defense okay and we need to add a u function called on rep defense like this on rep defense and rename this old defense okay now let me implement this here now all i do in this on rep stamina is this I'll do the same thing here. Defense old defense. Okay. Wait. Right. Um I don't really want to spend time on explaining each of these functions because I think I explained them when we work on the initial attributes, this health and stamina so this is same as before this is going to be another attribute right now if you go to the character class clm character here we have some more functions this uh, these are blueprint native events update health and update stamina and also some functions health changed and stamina changed they they are bound to these attributes to health attribute this health change is bound and stamina attribute to stamina attribute uh, stamina change event is bound but for now i don't really want to have a function because uh, i just need to make it appear here for now so for that i don't think i need that okay now let me save everything and compile if everything is correct the new attribute should appear okay compilation complete mm -hmm. now let's see oh no there oh live code in right now here we have defense great let me select that and for the chest armor i'll add 10 to the defense um maybe this is no it's fine 10. okay right now let's go back to the project c plus plus project and here i need to add something else so what i want to do is when the character take damage through a change to the health i need to uh, plot let me call it t 
from diff and we can get the defense value but i need to make sure it is clamped between 100 for uh, 100 and zero so yeah math Lamp uh, defense get current value plan between zero and hundred. Okay, now that's the defense, and then I'll set the delta equals delta multiplied by uh, no d defense 200 minus defense divided by 200 so the reason that i didn't use a hundred here is because i want to make sure that the maximum defense or damage reduction should be 50% so that's why I use this 200 minus defense divided by defense so it would uh, if the maximum value would be 100 so this would be 100 divided by 200 that means 50% okay and if it is 0 if defense is 0 then delta is equal delta equals to delta all right and also now I'll print the defense value like this so that you can see that in the oh, you can see that in the oh, what is it what is this you can see that in the output lock when the character get hit okay now let's see first let's get hit oh wait let me open the output lock hmm, i don't see that oh, let me compile i think oh wait cpp34 That shouldn't be this. Okay. Something is not. I'm not getting hit. Let me close this. And restart the project. Build from scratch. Oh, there is an error. Now oh, this this one. the same it should be all right if i wait a couple seconds yeah now it's correct cleared okay now opening the project and my other screen okay compilation complete right here you can see defense appeared now let's get hit and see if it works yeah you can see defense is zero so let me collect this now you should see some value for the defense see now defense is 10 you can see that here so that means the damage taken is also reduced you can see this 38 19 so earlier it was reducing by 10 but now it's i think 9 if you want to clearly see that let me open again this here you can see this is where the new health is printed let me add some additional details so you can see let's keep it for a longer time and health 
and print the value now let me show you what the value is gonna be without the defense Ninety. Okay, so it, we are getting a ten damage. It was ninety. Let me get it again. Seventy. That's because it was a heavy attack. Okay, so light attacks ten. Now let me wear this armor. Now you should say. That's seventy six. That was a heavy attack so 24 was the damage 57 see 66 uh, 57 so you can see reduced damage it's not reduced by 10 by 10 for light attacks okay all right and that's actually all i want to do today now if you want to add additional de defense to other equipments as well for example this is here you have the gameplay effect of the class 2 chest armor here you can defense maybe 50 and this one maybe 20 so like this you can change whatever the defense that you want to apply for each armor and also if you want to apply defense for other equipment such as helmets you can do the same way defense 5 seems reasonable for a helmet horned helmet mm. maybe so all right so that's how you implement defense with gas so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions concerns comments anything in the comment section i will uh, try to reply to them as much as i can and yeah see you in the next episode goodbye